All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, from Theme Park Tempo. I'm back at it today here at Epcot Center. Here for actually the new Communicore building that has opened. The walls are finally down five years later. Let's go check it out. Very excited to see what the area has to offer. I saw some previews online, but I skipped the rest of them because I want to go and, and enjoy it myself and see what it has to offer. As always, guys, if it's your first time to the channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. Let's get in and have some fun. Beautiful shot of Spaceship Earth as we walk in to the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Unfortunately, last week I was actually in the Magic Kingdom and one of my friends is a cast member and I was this close to getting a preview for Tiano's Bayou Adventure. However, the ride went down a bunch. They didn't really stress test the ride like they should have and they had a lot of issues going forward during previews. Hopefully they're all nixed by the time it opens to the public on June 28th. They're doing pass holder previews um, all next week. So maybe I'll be able to snag one, but it's very hard how they're doing the previews and not giving you an exact time for the previews like they normally would. They're, it's pretty much come in. If you can get snag a reservation on the Disney app, they'll let you do the preview. Um, but yeah, it's just too much of a hassle for a log flume. And if it was a coaster, I'd probably get on it. Um, and the reviews seem negative so far, so I'm not going to rush to get on something that people aren't exactly going crazy over. But I will eventually ride sometime. I do have a Guardians reservation today at 10.15. And I brought my GoPro on since it's been a while I've given you a POV of Guardians. So I'm going to check that out today for sure. But first, I'm going to check out the new Communicore area. Only a five-minute post of standby queue for Spatial Birth. Might give that a whirl on the way out. I think so. Yeah, it's been a while since I've hit up Spatial Birth. Just about 15 minutes at the park open. Crowds are light so far. Let's get into the park. Well, we are in the park. Let's get down towards the Communicore Hall area of the park. So just exiting project tomorrow. This is the area that was revealed just a few months back. It looks grand as we make a right turn and we're greeted to the new area of the Communicore building. Now, first thing you notice is Mickey and Friends, it seems like. Very Epcot on the building. I love the exterior of the building. Very much makes you feel future world disc. <laughs> so, yeah, here's a bunch of meet and greets with Mickey and Friends. I see Goofy, Minnie, Mickey. Yeah, come meet your favorite Disney pal. It has a lightning lane available <laughs> for purchase for this. All the line doesn't seem crazy. It's only a five-minute wait for a meet and greet. Yeah, I think we're gonna go meet a character. It's only five minutes, you can't beat that. Yeah, let's do it. A beautiful, beautiful mural. And what you notice here is actually really nice. Um, that's a throwback to the Horizons attraction. That's actually stand, stood right now where Mission Space stands. But yeah, that was the original, one of the, it was the robot maid that cleaned one of the apartments there. But lovely mural of the monorail, of Goofy up there, spaceship flying into Spaceship Earth. Waiting in line looking at this wall of bubbles, there's got to be a hidden Mickey in here somewhere. It just seems too good of an opportunity not to put a Mickey in here. Kind of. Oh, right there. Okay. It's gotta be a, at least one more. Maybe on these somewhere. <laughs> anyway, you got Mickey here, Minnie over yonder. Wonder who we get. There's we meet them all. You just meet one. You get to pick. We'll see when we go inside. Greeted by this beautifulness of lighting and Epcotness on the wall all over. This is magnificent. Yeah, good job, Disney, on this, for sure. D-E-A-U-T full. And we got a little bit more of a queue in here. <laughs> All right, we'll see where we go from here, guys. Hidden gem up here is from the original Figment attraction. 
for the Dream Finder. That is cool. I love the nostalgic of pumping into the walls here. Brilliant. Very well done. Very hidden gem. Nice Easter egg, Disney. So cool concept. You queue in the line here, and then you walk up, and you meet one, two, three characters all in a row. Um, you can't see Mickey's off to the right, but you got Mickey, a Minnie, and Goofy back there. But yeah, really cool concept. You bump three out characters back to back to back. I love it. And this guy just embraces the Disney spirit. Look at that. I love it. Enjoying it. Very much a kid at heart. I applaud that guy. Absolutely love it. Hey, we're Mickey Mouse today, guys. Say hi, Mickey. We're at Theme Park Tempo. We're doing good. Rocking and rolling. I'm going to go enjoy Epcot today. You enjoy the same? Yeah. You want to go on Guardians with me? Yeah, that was awesome to meet Mick. Oh, he comes back out with Minnie. I'm just waiting for Goopy, who stepped aside and is going to go take a break. He's going to come back out. Very efficient how they do the line. They don't really hold much up here. All right, guys, time to meet Goofy. Goofy, make it a hug. Yeah. Here, Goofy, just for the record, you're a dog. Yes. For all those online that say he's not, he, Goofy's a dog. Yes, he was the original Goofy dog. Right there. Heck yeah. Concrete proof just there that Goofy is a dog. For all them online naysayers saying he's a cow, I just asked him himself and he confirmed. So if you say he's a cow, you're wrong. All right, guys, time to meet Minnie. How we doing, Minnie? Hanging out. I just met Mickey over there. He says he misses you. He's so far away. Yeah. I'm going to be there, Papa. I hope you're doing the same. Yeah. You know, out of all the new experiences that Disney's been putting out, that was going to be more enjoyable new ones. Honestly, that was excellent. I enjoyed meeting the characters. They were all great as they always were. That was such an enjoyable experience. I highly recommend it, especially early in the morning. I waited maybe 10 minutes and I met three characters in a row. You cannot beat that. That was impressive. Good job, Disney. I actually really thoroughly enjoyed all of that. And they were so efficient in there too. Yeah, love to see that. Now, right to the other end of the building, you just got a quick snack bar with some alcoholic options as well. Looks like just like a grab and go. Now here's something I saw online and I really don't understand why it's here we are in future world at epcot epcot also has another part of the part of the park which showcases countries from around the world known as world showcase now here in my opinion the show behind me which i'm about to show you which features in canto which takes place in colombia has no business being in future world this is where I question Disney. Um, they could have easily added this show to any other park. They could have put it between countries and World Showcase. But no, for some reason, it has to come in the middle of the new expansion area. It makes zero sense to me. They could have put a futuristic show here, but why is it in Kanto? It does not go with the theming at all, at all. <laughs> that could have fit perfectly in World Showcase. <laughs> well, here we are. Um, that's where, so yeah, Disney, great, not so great. Yeah, this guy just embodies Disney. Good morning, how we doing? Morning, good. Uh, that guy's all about it. I love it. I love it. Either way here, the new Communicore building. Let's go check this out. See what Communicore Hall's all about. As we enter, I just see a bunch of seating. Must be stuff around the building. I love all the Epcot flags around. Of course, I have an Epcot tattoo myself, which is emulated in the last flag there. This might be the back side of the building, I'm thinking. But this is just straight seating. <laughs> which is nice, but I really feel like they could have done more with the building and just make it straight up seating. <laughs> this is what it is, but there, there is more, there's a bigger actual hall, which you go through. This is the end of the Mickey and Friends building. Huh. Where do I get to that big eatery place? I'll walk around and figure it out. Originally today was planning on a Bush Gardens Tampa day actually, um, but I decided against it. And it's a good thing I did because the skies do not look promising. And they get all the way out there, which is an hour drive for me and come back and possibly get stuck in a thunderstorm. 
um, which has actually just started to drizzle now. So yeah, Epcot was definitely the safer bet today for me, for sure. It's been over a month since I've been to Busch Gardens Tampa. Um, and I, yeah, I want to get back and get over there. Looks like it's going to be next week, though. <laughs> so actually, upon further review, I was mistaken. What I saw online just happened to be that festival booth. But it looked a lot more spread out. I guess it was a good camera trick on the vlog I saw online. But yeah, literally the whole space community for a hall is just a seating area that goes from one side to the other. Yeah, I'm not... I mean, it's a nice seating area. You get your food and you come in and you sit down. Um, but you could have, in my personal opinion, yeah, really made this expand. You could have put a restaurant here. You could have put a bar. You could have put anything. <laughs> but you put just seats. I mean, the AC is beautiful in here. It is lovely. But yeah, you honestly could have done more. <sighs> Not a fan. I mean, it looks nice. It's just to, just seats. Ugh. Well, the outdoor area here around the pavilion looks nice. The rain's coming down a little bit harder now. And here's where you could have put seats, but you didn't. <laughs> Although there's seats around here on the outside. It's nice-ish. Booth for the show, it looks like. It's just a... They could have anything else but a Kanto. <laughs> but it is what it is. some more outdoor seating here it does look nice just finally happy to see that the walls are finally all down and it brought some life to this area much needed life so yeah obviously Epcot needed this Epcot needed a giant layover but for five years I'm not that thoroughly impressed Disney um yeah you've done a lot better in less time Disneyland was built on a calendar year Universal Studios is building a world-class theme park that will rival the heck out of Disney even more than they already are in less time than it took Disney to do this area. That is insane to me. That makes no sense. Make that make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Here's the left side by Mickey and Friends, the seating area out here. They do have portable charge reports for your phone, which is nice. That area I've actually covered before when the first area opened up all those trees and such very nifty very cool oh, nice area just wish they they didn't rush it that's for sure they just wish they could have done more in five years but it is what it is we do have a ride guaranteed on guardians today which is nice Got about a half hour to kill before my Guardian's reservation is ready, so I'm gonna kill some time and check out the land and go on living with the land. And by that time, it should be ready for my Guardian's. Let's do it. Now the sun decides to come out. <laughs> it's still raining. Good morning. Oh, he's such a beautiful escape from the heat coming in here. I'm gonna see Chip and Dale out meeting and greeting. Looks like Chip from here, I can't tell though. You know how to tell the difference between Chip and Dale? It's one easy distinction. Chip has a chocolate chip nose and Dale has a red nose. Now apparently they've actually added some lighting and regave some life to the rainforest scene inside Living at the Land. Excited to check that out. I now present to you the fastest, most thrilling drop in all the land. The escalator down. Just a five minute standby queue for Living at the Land. Should be right on. And enjoy living. And by a vessel here on living the land. Yeah, I'm ready for this exhilarating ride. Nobody's came by to check my safety belt yet. I'm a little concerned. Ooh, okay. Yeah, nice move with a bird. I just had more lights to it. Maybe change much, much. Obviously, no scenery, but more like the lights. I like it. Oh yeah, here 
here you can definitely see. Absolutely. Owns the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and dark the longest cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface. But they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. While this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorch. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Most for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, one of my are favorite hidden Mickey's ever raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system you're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, it's one small area. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Some quick brief highlights here from Living with the Land. I love that you do with the rainforest scene. They added more landing around. You could actually see it and fully enjoy it. It's a lot more, it's a lot more out Some quick highlights here from Living with the Land. I really enjoyed how they re overdid the rainforest scene. A lot more lighting, it's a lot more clear to see the animatronics that are out there. Always a nice boat ride though, regardless on Living with the Land. Oh, almost just fell on the escalator there. You can head over to Guardians of the Galaxy now and get a ride there before I leave Epcot. It is gonna be super nice to just cut through the middle here as opposed to walking around for Guardians. <laughs> yeah, nice little bit of a shunnel. It's not gonna, it, not a shortcut per se, because it's always existed, but now it's just open again to the public. So yeah, a few less steps to get the Guardians. Time for a ride on Guardians of the Galaxy. Launch the Vacoma Family Coaster. That's a tongue twister there for sure. Here at Epcot. Utilizes for the queue building at least, the old Universe of Energy building. And the sun just came out. It is hot, hot, hot. We're in a heat wave right now. It hasn't been a day in the last week where it hasn't reached 100 degrees. So you run for the long haul. But right on. So a 10 15 reservation, Guardians of the Galaxy. Interesting enough to note, those umbrellas went over there, and nor were the outside zigzags, which makes me wonder if that's eventually, because it looks like you actually have floorings in the floor. That would be the standby queue. Be at least the extended standby queue that will connect. So maybe virtual queue is going away sooner than later. Here at Guardians, very nice. Paid 15 bucks for a guaranteed ride <laughs> on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Worth it to me because next virtual queue doesn't open until 1 o'clock. And the virtual queue line looks a little backed up today. Actually, to be honest, so does the Lightning Lane line, but at least leave from that first. That's a good hour wait. Minimum minimum greetings Terrans I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan commander of the Nova Corps on behalf of all Xandarians I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar as you have seen your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. 
citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? Day drinkers. Oh, someone needs to tell me what I want. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Talmeric, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. Seven ride. I'm oh, sorry, a row um, nine ride. Because that's actually what turns into the front row on this attraction. Yeah, I requested row nine. They told me to wait on these letters here. Sit about another train or two and be able to get me on the requested row. Not too shabby. Alrighty, folks. All situated here in our Star Flyer. Dispatch here, which will turn into the front row when we're launched. Let's have some fun, y'all. <laughs> okay, hey, for the jump point. This plane is never gonna work. Rock it. Well, okay, I've lost on to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man, then you're likely doomed. Right. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Yeah. 
drags. Uh, you're lying to them. Now I understand. Actually, just about three minutes and 30 seconds, but it's time to get off the train here. Very nice. As always, here in Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmic Rewind. Coast of Hair, don't care. Another great ride on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This is really going to be a timeless attraction. And hopefully, sooner than later, they're going to be able to make it a not a virtual queue where it's just a standby, which I don't. Virtual queues, in my opinion, shouldn't exist. I mean, I get the whole lane concept, but let people stand in line. If they don't want to wait it, they don't wait it. That's tough. You know, I just hate it how they have to baby people who don't want to wait more than an hour in line. God forbid. That is what it is. Uh, hopefully, it comes sooner than later. Anyway, excellent job. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Woo! I think now at this point I've gotten every song on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Yeah, there are many, many rides. Beautiful as always. Cutting through connections here. Now, fun fact, this thing doesn't advertise this, but if you have your own water bottle, I've done it multiple times. Who's stopping you? Who's stopping you? Unlimited refills here. At connections. They do have really good food in here, actually. Well, the pizza for Florida pizza is probably the best Florida pizza you're gonna get. Um, but yeah, great burgers and great drink selections as well. Yeah, and uh, holy heck, it is crowded here at Space Your Birth. The post a 25 minute standby queue. You can't see it on the camera, barely the waves. Yeah, you can make it out now. But yeah, I'm gonna skip a 25 minute wait for Space Your Birth. I would have loved to done it. Should have done it in the morning when there was no wait. <laughs> but now I gotta reap the consequences. Unfortunately, it is what it is. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, funny times to check out Space Bird. I really just wish they went ahead with the re re real do of it and they have the overlay done because it does need some TLC. Um, but unfortunately, they canceled that because of Disney's. Be surprised how cheap they can be sometimes when they make all this money. And that's going to be wrap today, guys. Here from Epcot Center. It was a blast showing you the new Communicore Hall area. All that good jazz around it. Always a great time to get back on Guardians. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a favor, like, and subscribe down below. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Meet you at the Midway.